Big decisions, big dollars. Beginning tomorrow, how Cleveland spends hundreds of millions of tax dollars to take center stage at City Hall. That's when Mayor Justin Bibb sits before City Council and formally introduces his $711 million operating budget. Top us break down exactly what this means for Cleveland and beyond. We're joined by our buddy, contributor Mark Naylor, Mark Namick rather, who is managing editor of Signal Cleveland, the city's new nonprofit newsroom. Mark, it's great to see you. I know you'll be joining us as we move along. Yeah, I'm always happy to come and talk about uh, the city and the region, uh, all things I love. Well, we love when you do this. Let's begin uh, talking about the numbers now. How does this budget compare to the past and just how tight is it? Well, it is really tight. Imagine this. So at the end of your year, you might have $20 left in your budget. The city is, uh, wants to spend about $700 million, but we'll only have about $250,000 at the end of the year. So that does make it pretty tight. In the last budget, uh, they had a $62 million shortfall, but that was filled by federal COVID relief money that's not there this time. The biggest part of this budget, of course, is public safety, especially for police. How does the police department fit into this? Well, budget? generally, public safety makes up more than a little bit more than half of the budget. So 380 million goes to public safety. Now, police is a really big part of this for a couple of reasons. One, they've been underpaid uh, and they've recently got a raise. So that's going to take more money out of the budget. But the city is well aware of the problem. It has recruiting officers. So that means they're going to pretty much take some of those jobs off the table and the money that goes with it. So they're going to eliminate uh, 140 positions uh, and that uh, will help make up some of the shortfall. But that that in and of itself is, is a big deal and controversial right now with yeah. the council members. Let's uh, turn to the west side market. The mayor, of course, made some news la last week. Phase one of the plan to fix things up and bring in a nonprofit to run it was announced last week. Where are we right now on that and what's next? Well, he's been talking about it since he ran. There's, this issue's been out there. So this is that step that they've created formally a nonprofit to run it. The idea is simply they'll have more flexibility. They can do better marketing. They can go out and raise private money for that facility, although it's always going to remain a public facility and one that the city has to back up. Right now, it, it runs a loss in the city's budget as uh, laid out already in the mayor's budget is a couple hundred thousand dollars, but it really costs more than that as well. And, you know, the, the trick will be can they make it sustainable on its own right. probably not likely given the huge investment in that in that facility itself still needs a lot of work those vendors you know often upset by plumbing electrical and other issues yeah now, is there a timetable on all this well for let's start with the budget timetable we've got a couple of weeks uh, of hearings some of those are going to go long all day going to be contentious by mid-march uh, council hopes to be casting a vote to set that in play and with the west side market we're talking you know, the first step is they've got a board, they've got to find an executive director, and that process still has to all be signed off on by council. So we're going to be talking about this again, I'm sure, in a month or two. I'm sure. And we are so happy to have a great new journalism outlet in town. How are things going so far? They're going Same. great. In fact, this week we've created a thing called Budget Bingo. So you can literally go on to uh, signalcleveland.org and follow along with the budget. We are going to have some helpful uh, guides and pages put together to help the public follow this along. But we are getting very invested in education, yeah. the economy, City Hall, and many other issues around town. Well, again, sir, it is great to see you and great to have you back. Thanks for having me, Russ. Right, we'll see you next time.